and I are back. Mm -hmm. We were pretty happy about the response and the, and the discussions we got going in the comments for our Allison video. Yeah. So we realized we had a lot other, of other Resident Evil opinions and rants and things that we wanted to talk about. So we decided to make another yeah. one. And we got a lot of ideas, but for this one, it's a similar situation with Allison, but we will be talking about Capcom's brilliant decision to change Jill Valentine's face yep. from pretty model Julia Block <laughs> to trash face dumpster fire revelations Jill. Uh, yeah. So, we are just like in our Allison discussion, the way we're playing with Evil 4, just to have something as legal to do while we were speaking. Um, right now, we are watching, we are actually watching. Uh, streams that are on YouTube of Julia Loth playing Resident Evil Remake HD Remaster. Yes. So if you hear anything in the background, you probably won't. That's what it is. And I'll do my best to edit that out. Yeah. But, um, and if anybody does want to watch her play them, it's actually really funny. Um, and she's... Yeah. I will <laughs> try to remember to put them in the Yeah. Week. She's not that great at the game, but it's still great that she plays it. But, plays it? Yes, it's still pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, since... And, if, if, and I'm sure most people that do end up listening to this will know but if you don't know julia both was the model for jill in resident evil remake and also um they used most of her features for resident evil 5 they just changed some things slightly obviously like the hair and i think even her nose they made a yeah. little bit bigger whatever but she was still J julia and they also used her umbrella, umbrella chronicles, yes. chronicles and are those the three umbrella five and that yeah that might be that that might be the three. yeah but <clears throat> I feel like this is something that also really annoys the crap out of us is because, well, two reasons. One, while Jill was very pretty and very attractive and um, iconic and distinguished, I guess, before Remake, where they first used her, that's when Jill really became divine, and that's the most iconic and the most recognizable version of Jill yeah. they carried over into some other games. And two, we did mention this before, I think in our, not a recorded discussion, but Capcom changing Julia's face was probably the first instance of some really unnecessary bullshit fuckery with Capcom. Yes. Similar to voice actors and other things. Yeah, like I feel like this was one of the, the starting things to at least that you and I notice. And actually, fun fact, um, yeah. Dylan and I, which his name is Dylan. Do you care if people know your name? You never introduced yourself. You just introduced me. So. No. Oh, I never did. <laughs> no. Oh, but, um... Well, it, you know, it's... There... I put him on my Twitter. Oh, yeah, duh. Twitter. So, okay. Well, since this is on your YouTube, Dylan and I um, actually met over a discussion about Julie. I, I uploaded a video years and years ago on my channel about... Oh, yeah, no. I'll, I can put that in the description too. Oh so God, it's cringeworthy, but I mean, no, it's it's important. No, it's really well, good. thank you. Don't listen to <laughs> um, yeah, so I made a video about this topic when I first saw the Revelations trailer for Jill, and then the ORC trailer, and I made a video of expressing how pissed off I was, and then Dylan happened to comment on it, and that's how we both started talking. And six years later, we are still Resident Evil nerds, so it's awesome. But that's just a fun fact. But yeah, so I think you and I. And I always thought we were kind of more alone on this subject than maybe some other things, but there actually was a petition going around, because I remember it, and I put it in the description of my video I made back then. There was a petition going around to bring Julia back, and a lot of people did sign it, too. So even though I think Allison, you know, our Allison one, more people might agree with that and care about that a little bit more than this, it still is something I think yeah. people will recognize and be like, oh, yeah, you know, like... It, and I think you said it perfectly when you said it really did define Jill and made her more of a, um, I don't even know, I, I, it was like that. It, yeah, it, it gave her more of her, like, iconic. Yes, status. Like, yes. Status. Because Resident Evil 3, 3 Jill is also really iconic, but her look is not that, I don't know, distinguished yeah. or unique. I yeah, guess. and I think it made her more... Like, and I guess it's because it, she was modeled off of a real life person, and maybe all the characters were in remake. But I think her, especially, she her features really stand out. She looks really real, really um, defined, really just ex like she has more. And 
we both talked about this before, you know, Remake was made at a time when the graphics were freaking amazing, the character models were freaking mind-blowing, you know, it was such a great, great, great game, the graphically and how it looks, and I think Jill in that game gives the most expression out of most of the characters, and obviously when they carried it over to 5, uh, I think she's the best character in 5, and that's what sort of made Jill Valentine my favorite character in the Resident Evil series, and I think she's yours too, correct? At least she was until they butchered her. Yes, I don't think either of us will say, you know, while well, we play Revelations or Operation Raccoon City, which we don't do that often. Right. We only played ORC once, and it is a shit show. <laughs> but, you know, when we're playing those games and we see Jill, it's not, I guess, to steal a hashtag from Allison's, Allison Court's recent podcast mm-hmm. interview, that was yes. really good, where they sort of gave her the hashtag <laughs> when we play Revelations that's definitely not, not our not Jill our definitely Jill. and even voice wise. yes that's another thing um, I know we'll probably have you know different discussions about voice actors and stuff but just because we're talking about Jill and Julia and that'll obviously be the main focus but I just do want to say that even changing her voice she loses just the depth I mean we talked about this in, in the Allison one too how characters just lose integrity and their depth and their, their, just their character in general when things are always switched and yes. I think Jill's been switched what the most out of all the voice actors. Like she's never had a consistent one for more than like one game, which is unfortunate. So I think yeah, to go I along with the Julia really look, instance. Heidi Anderson, who's where she was the same, was it Umbrella Chronicles in five? Mm-hmm. Yes. And that was also the only instance where they brought back, you know, one of Jill's voice yeah. actors. It wasn't a brand new voice actor. Yeah. Patricia Jolly is the best one, but I also think Heidi Anderson, and I, I don't, she's never, I don't know how big she is or what other things she's done, but if they ever brought her back, which was her voice in Remake, if nobody knows, I thought she was good too. Yeah. They, because they, because Patricia and Heidi both kind of fit that look of Jill, so either one of those were great. Yeah. I don't like, can I, I don't know if I should say this, but I really don't like Michelle Ruff as Jill. I'm sure she's a great voice actress and other things, I just didn't think she fit Jill at all. I mean, I can yeah. agree with you, but I have also seen some people who disagree and think she's great and she fits the role and good for those people. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, we're not trying to, you know, dissuade anybody from what they think or, you know, whatever. These are just our personal opinions, and my personal yeah. opinion is that not only did they butcher Jill's face in Revelations, but I also think that them changing her voice, and maybe it was kind of for the better because they changed her face so much that changing the voice only made sense, but I just, I I am not a Michelle Ruff fan for Jill Valentine, just, she's just not my preference. I would... And I think, I think, bringing it back to Alice and Core, I think she said something in, in that podcast interview that we watched together, um, she also said something similar where they changed her voice, they didn't bring her back, and she was glad that they changed yes. her face. So. Maybe it's just needed sometimes, but but I think Allison said that, and not to get totally off track, we will totally go back to Julia Voth in a second, but I think, didn't Allison say that because um, they kind of started to use Allison's like likeness and features and stuff to, to more Claire, yes. which is, Slowly, yeah. Slowly, more and more, each game, she looked she more like. Started to look more like yeah. Claire. And even Allison was aware of that. Yeah. I don't think they ever, like, I don't think they ever scanned or modeled her Claire after Allison as specifically as they did Julie right. and Jill. But I think there was that slow evolution of Claire looking more like Allison. Yeah, which is why I feel like Claire only got prettier with the games. And the funny thing is, and I think I say this in the, in the, the Jill video that I made years and years ago when they changed Julia Voth, um, and people might say we're being over dramatic and you know whatever but and they might if some people might argue that well the, the Resident Evil characters always change with every single game but here's my argument to that about Julia Voth when they changed Claire back from you know Resident Evil 2 to Code Veronica to Dark Side Chronicles to Degeneration Claire yes Claire always looks very different but it wasn't yeah, she it's really hard to but like, yeah, there's always a, there, it was never a drastic enough change. I feel like it was like that with a certain span of time, I think we talked about this before, like, from Zero and Remake up until Resident Evil mm-hmm. 5, Resident Evil 6, sort of, Scarecrow, like, Leon looks older, busted, but, you know, 
up until that point, the characters had yes. this look of them to drastically yeah. change. But then again, until you know, the yeah. was birthed, they did with Triple H, Jane, and her, but then they also with sent others. Them yes. Up again. And Claire and Leon and Chris looked yeah. slightly different. Yeah, that, that Deborah, was. For instance, there's even seven. Chris, if that's even Chris, haven't really played yeah. seven. So. No, I, I agree, and I think the, the, the key word here is, is um, drastic. Like, they didn't drastically change anybody, but Jill from 5 to Revelations, to me anyway, was a drastic change. Her face looks completely different. And I've always... <clears throat> yeah. And I've always thought that's a weird thing mm -hmm. to do. Like, if Revelations took place after 5, and you could use the reasoning that it's later, mm -hmm. you know, maybe she's weathered yeah. from the events of 5... But the fact that Revelations, the game, mm -hmm. in the timeline, that's in between four and five, four yeah. and five. So to think that she looks like that, so drastically different in Revelations, and then what in the timeline, like a year yeah. after that, it's lost a nightmare's joke. Yeah, like, how, how did, did that yeah, happen? and. You know, once again, people can say, oh, their game characters get over it, but I've talked about this in the Allison one. Um, if you can't tell already, Dylan and I are not just Resident Evil fans, but very passionate about the series and about certain things. And I don't think yes. there's anything wrong with that. We and grew up with the series, and when they change things we really, really got used to or really, really liked, it's going to kind of piss us off a little bit. And I think this... And yeah, and you know, characters... Characters are an important thing to any exactly. kind of game. Exactly. So why why is it different if we grow attached to this video game character and want them to consistent. remain yeah. intact and consistent? Yeah. Why is it different than like a movie or a show? Character? Yeah. Like if a movie character, you know, or a show, if if an actor is recast, people usually are upset and it's very jarring. It's very different. So why is it different? No, that's very well said. I'm glad you, because I was kind of starting to get a little um, annoyed at some com. Not not on our video. Nobody was, you know, rude or anything on our video. But I, you know, I. No, we got some cool people commenting yeah. on the first video. Yeah, I will totally. I will, I want to do some shout outs towards the end, but um. <laughs> Um, I was reading comments because I've been obviously keeping up with this whole Allison Court thing, so I've been watching other people's discussions and opinions, and um, I. Uh, and there's a lot of videos for yeah for there, with Allison in this remake too, which is awesome. which would be awesome if you know Capcom would pull their heads out of their asses, but you know, <laughs> uh, who knows what'll happen with that, but. Um, yeah, when I read some of the comments, though, on those videos, you know, almost everybody is in support of Allison, you know, everybody is in support of, you know, yeah, bring her back, but then there are some comments. We've gotten some different, we've gotten some different reactions yeah. from a couple people on Twitter. Yeah. We won't name oh. names as far as that whole topic. Yeah, you're right. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, but... It's... You can't, you can't, you can't talk to a brick wall, that's what I'll say. <laughs> yeah, no, you're totally right, and... It's not like, and you know, it's not like we we want everybody to agree with us. We understand people have different opinions, but with this, I really feel like no. And I appreciate different opinions. Yeah. Like if, if, if a different if different game is your favorite, that's cool. Talk to me, like you talk to you talk to yeah. me all about how much you love Resident Evil Four, and we just finished playing Resident Evil yeah, Four together. And, um, not, um, and I do not care for Resident Evil Four as a game. It's fantastic. As a player, I suck at it. <laughs> So, you know, so I can understand and appreciate people's differing opinions. It's when someone <laughs> is, like, really critical of your opinion, you know. That's, that's what exactly, that's exactly I what like, I was, I, I hope. I feel like we've never been like that, or at least never intentionally. Yeah, e that. even though we're even though we're very passionate and I have my very strong opinions on Resident Evil um, yeah it's the people that are rude about it, exactly what you just said it's fine to have different opinions but to straight up just be rude and be like well you guys are you know too picky and stupid and you want one thing and then Capcom gives you and like those people yeah. that I, I really they piss me off I'm, I'm not gonna lie that really pisses me off at least respect you know they, they say that we're because remember when I remember when Seven came out, and a lot of people were really upset about the lack of original characters, and obviously so was I, so were you. I know a lot of people that were upset about because it doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game if you don't have Jill, Leon, Chris, Claire, Ada, Wesker, Rebecca, whoever. It could have been, and and it could have even been like a sole Rebecca game. We haven't seen Rebecca in a while, or whatever. But the fact that there was no characters made it kind of weird. 
and I remember reading comments on people saying, oh, well, they brought the horror back, but you guys always find something to complain about. And it's like, you know, those are people that'll just never understand, I guess, or just aren't as passionate as we are. I don't know. And I don't know if you wanted to get into some of the rumors I have heard and read on videos and different things about why Julie was changed in the first place. Oh, actually, I never even... Did we ever talk about that? I never even heard of why. I just thought I they... Think, hmm. I think at one point, perhaps, but there is some YouTuber who... I don't know where. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not accurate, but he states that the reason she was changed was because, and then compared who, compared her to the apparently model Jill off in Revelations, um, apparently he says something about, because Revelations was initially a 3DS game, a handheld game, Oh, yeah. Julia's features, features. Yeah. were a little too... Big or something? Yeah. For a handheld game, I don't know exactly what, what that even means. Exactly. <laughs> said I haven't watched that video in a while, but um, it's a weird thing to. And there's got to be some reason they would change it. There, like, that's a really think, weird reasoning, though. I mean, I think Julia, I think Julia has said in the past something about it didn't have anything to do with like, like her not wanting to extend a contract with Capcom or something. But mm -hmm. then they do it again after Revelations. And the ORC is not Julia Bach anymore, so it's weird. We've also said this before that, um, you know, it's fine if you think that Revelations and ORC Jill look good. Right. I think Brandy and I would strongly disagree with yes. you on both of those. But I just can't fathom anybody who would look at a picture Remake Jill, Umbrella Chronicles Jill, or Five Jill, mm -hmm. compared to those two other games, which is not Julia Bot, mm -hmm. and say, "Hey, that looks better." Yeah, and she's still attractive. Yeah, I, I don't. And it, it's not even that Julia Bot is like a, a model, and you know, oh, that's that's automatically makes her hotter because she's a model. Like, no, she's just she brought no. a, a life to Jill's fit. Like Jill's face, even in remake, when you know the, they didn't animate the facial expressions that you know, well yet until f I guess five came out, four or five. But Well I feel like I feel like the H D remaster when I first played that I noticed there was a lot more and I played the GameCube version of time. Yeah, me too. But maybe I never noticed it, but I feel like when I played the H D remaster I feel like I could notice more details on the character's faces. Yeah. Especially with Jill. Yeah. Like so much more And she just gives it's so hard to explain, but it's almost like an emotional look to Jill like she looks more realistic she looks more like defined like you said earlier like and just honestly yeah if you want to be honest more pretty just she gives she gives her this pretty but badass like look and I don't know even though Julia Voth is a model you know Jill Jill still has like this badassery about her and you know she's just awesome it's you know and I know that they, they did use her for five, obviously. There were some slight changes, but it's still Julia yes. Both. And even then, I think Jill even got at least in... I mean, I think her best look to me will always be Remake, because Remake is my favorite Resident Evil game. Jill is just... That's my favorite model of Jill. But as as a depth and her character development, I love her in five. And the fact that it still is Julia Voth's features and stuff makes it even more awesome. I do remember Julia Voth saying in an interview, though, that she prefers Remake Jill to Five only because, you know, Jill's a blonde in that and she's she's personally a brunette and it made me laugh so hard. I was like, yeah, that's true. And I, I do prefer Jill yeah. with the bob with the short hair because that's always been, like, her thing. So them giving her a ponytail in Five was kind of weird, but I guess they wanted to show, like, the years yeah. going by, whatever, which is fine. Not totally a big deal, but yeah. <laughs> um, and there is a quote that I remembered, and I just did look it up, and it pertained to Julia mm -hmm. and why they chose mm -hmm. her, but it was when they were remaking Resident Evil, mm -hmm. was Capcom producer Hiroyuki Kobayashi said that they wanted to make Jill a little cuter so that her <laughs> action and atmosphere has charm. 
So even, oh. I think the word charm implies that like, even her face gives her a sense of personality. And Person yeah. Com yeah. Wow, I never knew that they said that. That's a cool quote. And that's, I think that he hit the nail on the head. I think that's 100% true with how Jill looks in the remake. So, and I know they completely changed her look because obviously in RE1, the original, and even in RE3, she looks slightly different or whatever. But... Yeah, yeah. Um, and just on Julia, at, like, as Jill, um, it might be cool to bring up how... how how cool she is with the Resident Evil fans. Like, yes. she did this playthrough that we're watching for playing Remake, and then even the images that I know you and I really like when she cosplayed it as yeah. stars Jill. Yeah, and she's even really gone to cons cosplayed as Jill and meets uh -huh. with Resident Evil fans. And also, to, we should mention that the, the stream that she's doing was also for charity. Like, you could donate while you watch it, which is yeah. awesome yeah. that she did that. So she's also just a good person, just, just like we said about Allison, she's not only, you know, important to the series because of what she did for this, like her work in the series, but her kindness towards the fans and her enthusiasm for it all is really awesome. I feel like on like a larger picture, mm -hmm. like I said earlier about Julia adding to the iconic status of Jill, of Jill mm -hmm. and then just like stripping that away, that's a big mm -hmm. problem. But it wasn't even the first time they'd do it as far as the character's looks. Like yes. I said, like if, if that's supposed to be Chris in 7, that's not Chris. <laughs> yes. that's a, it's a generic white dude. <laughs> um, and then I was even watching a YouTube video on a pretty good YouTuber. Um, it was Where's Barry. Oh, that's I think, cool. <laughs> I think I sent you some two of the videos. They were even talking about changing look of the characters and that maybe we might even see something similar to Chris in quotes how he looks in 7 because of newer technology and stuff we might even see something similar like that applied to the characters in Remake 2 which would be we weird very very hard to take. yes I, I agree and um, going back real, real quick before we do end on what you said about Capcom's excuse for changing voice actors and faces all the time is, oh, well, they, you know, they've aged or whatever. Um, I don't think your entire face changes when you age, you know, uh, like, unless I you know, get like yeah. major plastic surgery or something. Like your lips don't get wider and your nose I doesn't know. get flatter. Like I don't. And again, like I said, there should be somebody at Capcom checking continuity because Revelations does not take place after five. So she exactly. goes from, I guess, Umbrella's end. Yeah. Umbrella Chronicles, where she's Julia Voth, to Revelations mm -hmm. Jill, and then back to Julia Voth in the timeline. Yeah, and it's that's that alone is stupid. But also, can we just talk about the fact that she's wearing a fucking battle suit in? And I get it, she's on a ship or whatever she got. But but I think they were riding off the coattails of her, I like you know yeah. iconic look in five with the battle suit. They kind of just threw her in this leather, but and it's just kind of stupid. But that might just be my opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm just yeah. crazy. <laughs> I think officially, I think officially, it's it's a wetsuit. But I can yeah. see what you mean. It looks way too much like. Resident Evil yeah, and outfit. it's just like, you know, Jill always wore, you know, her stuff, I mean, and I love, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, what she's wearing in 3 is kind of stupid, who would go out in, a, in an apocalypse like that, but, you know, I always thought that was, that's like the iconic Jill look, I love that. Her outfit there also adds to the campiness of Resident Evil, and camp is a big part, big part of, of it. I think you would agree with me that while Allison is the first thing we think of with Claire and the iconic thing that we connect with Claire, I think with Jill, Julia yes. Voth would be like the same thing for Jill. Because mm -hmm. that's just what made, even though Jill had prior games and she still is iconic in 3 and I think even in the original, but I think what defined her and gave her more life, just like Allison's voice gave Claire such life and depth and growth I think Julia's face did with Jill and it's really a shame that they didn't continue to use her. Not only is she beautiful and you know made Jill super gorgeous but I think she definitely gave her a, defi a defining different sort of look too like Jill isn't just your average pretty female game character like she really had a distinct look all her own and it really sucks that they changed that. Yes yes um, like I said Resident Evil 7, Chris, is a generic white yes. dude. Yes. <laughs> and Julia Voth as Jill 
there's nothing generic about, at all that. about that appearance. She's very unique and she's very, you know, iconic. Yes, and just to end too, it was totally meant to be. Both of their initials are JV, Jill Valentine, Julia Voth. It was meant to be. She never changed. <laughs> I always noticed that. Well, I actually never thought about that because it appears not to Yeah, so Julia Voth. But it was meant to be at Capcom. Fucked it. Fair fucker. <laughs>